Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Zero video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to track and record mileage claims on Zero accounting software. The previous video, I showed you how to use the expense claims feature. I suggest you go and watch that video first and then watch this one because they're very similar. So we're going to go to business here and go down to expense claims. So the mileage claims are in the expense claims feature. So expense claims, all of this was covered in the previous video, how to use this feature. Go to new expense at the top right and click on mileage claim and simply fill in the details. You can upload an image. So if the mileage claim was written on some sort of template or Excel file or handed in a receipt, something like that, that can be attached to the claim. I really suggest you do that. The first thing you need to do once you've uploaded your image, which is optional, you don't have to do that, is to select the user. Now, this is one of the things I don't like about this feature. In order to record a mileage claim for an employee, and this is where you would select your employee here, they have to be set up as a user on zero. If they're not a user on zero, then you can't put them on. To add them as a user, go to the top left here, go to settings, go to users, and then on this page, you'll be able to add more users to zero. So going back to mileage claims or expense claims, and then mileage claim. And then mileage claim. You would select your employee, the mileage that they're claiming. So it could be 500 miles or 551 miles. The rate that you're paying per mile. Now this could be anywhere from a few pence per mile to 45p per mile, generally speaking. So you put in the rate of reimbursement here, the description. So this could have been travel to business conference, the date they traveled on, the nominal account. So this is the financial account you want the transaction posted to. So it's likely to be some sort of travel expense code. So for me, that's 493 Travel National. Then we have some optional boxes down here. We can assign the transaction to a customer. We can give it a label. We can allocate it to a category or department. That's all optional. But down the bottom here, we have the mileage claim, the rate, and then the actual amount to reimburse. So this is 551 miles at 45p per mile. because That gives us 24795. Once it's all filled in, you have some options. Save draft means you, you can come back to this at a later time and carry on. So perhaps you didn't quite finish. Maybe you entered everything, but you're waiting for the image. So you can save it as a draft and then come back to it at a later time. If you click submit, you'll be taken back to the expense claim page. And we have submitted transactions here. Here's the one at the top, 551 miles travel to business conference. It's been submitted for approval. So that's the whole purpose of the submission is to submit it for approval. Once it's been approved, you can go back to the transaction, click approve, hopefully not decline. But you can edit the transaction here too. edit the mileage or the rate, whatever it is, edit the employee, click approve. The transaction will then move from submitted to to be paid. To move the transaction from to be paid to done, you need to allocate this transaction when doing the payroll. So when you're processing the payroll on zero, you can allocate this to the employee, include it on their payslip, it will then move from to be paid to done. This is another thing I don't like about this feature, and that is you can't just mark it as paid or move it to a contact and pay it that way. It has to be done through the zero payroll software. It's not great. 
but I want to teach you every aspect of Zero, I and mean, this is just another aspect, another feature of Zero. Not the best feature that they have because of its limitations and the frustrations that I have expressed in this video. But thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you in another video.